Hello everyone. Today let's try to revise all the eye yields five years dermatology images. As we are getting close to the exam, we might be now worried. But instead of being worried, let's become more stronger by preparing well and let's go to the exam with a full force and get this exam clear by this time. This is Dr. Auroraj and now let's try to revise all the eye yield images. Let's go. Number one, skin layers. Since our school days, we know that there is going to be three layers, epidermis, dermis and the hypodermis. Right. For the FMG exam, it is important to remember the stratum layers. Number one is going to be stratum basal, stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum and there is one more layer called as stratum lucidum and we have stratum corneum. Remember, stratum lucidum is only seen in the palms and soles. Great. Now, how do I remember this? Sir? We have a mnemonic called as boys say girls like coffee. So remember the mnemonic boys say girls like coffee. B is for basal, S is for spinosum, G is for granulosum, L is for lucidum and C is for corneum. Very important. Let's see albinism and vitiligo. Remember, a tyrosine gets converted into melanin by the enzyme called as tyrosinase. If tyrosinase is absent, then there is going to be no melanin. In albinism, there is going to be no melanin. Look at the image here. The boys, even the eyebrow and the eyelashes are white in color. This is due to no melanin or very little melanin. This is going to be albinism. Number two, this is going to be vitiligo. Remember, vitiligo is an acquired condition uh, seen in the second and third decade of life, usually second and the third decade of life. And there is going to be no melanocytes in vitiligo. Segmental vitiligo, these are the images. Try to revise this. And next is going to be our pebaldism. Remember, there is going to be white forelocks. In normal people, we can also see white forelocks. But remember, in pebaldism, there is going to be white patches in the forehead as well. So this is going to be pebaldism. The image here is Mongolian spots. Yes, it is a flat and bluish gray spots. They usually disappear on their own. They are classically seen in the spinal region and also in the buttocks. The second image is going to be Becker's nevus. It is usually seen in one shoulder on the upper trunk and it is non-cancerous. Great. Nevus ota is going to be the hyperpigmentation around the eye region. Around the eye region. Remember, it has trigeminal nerve involvement. Very important to remember. Look at the lesions in the hand, foot and mouth. This is called as what? Hand, foot, mouth disease. It is caused by Coxsackie virus. It is highly contagious and commonly seen in young children of around 5 years age. Yes, this is called as what? Hand, foot, mouth disease. And the second image is classically erysipelas. This is caused by beta hemolytic streptococcus A. It is going to have edematous and erythematous plaques. Number three is going to be chicken pox. It is very common but very important for the main exam. It is caused by varizella zoster virus and it is going to have dew drop on rose petal appearance. The examiner is going to show the image of the trunk with the lesions because soles and palms are actually spared in chickenpox. Psoriasis. Psoriasis is itchy rash, scaly and dry patches. We are going to see silvery white scales, auspice signs and Kobner's phenomenon. Remember auspice sign. In auspice sign, when you are going to scratch the scaly dry plaques, there is going to be pinpoint bleeding thing that is called as what auspice sign very important to remember secondly remember the nail psoriasis in nail psoriasis you are going to see pitting very important and you are going to see oil drop sign oil drop sign and pustula psoriasis is due to the sudden withdrawal of steroids sudden withdrawal of steroids. 
great so we have to remember gutted psoriasis pustula psoriasis nail psoriasis and also the scalp psoriasis sporotrichosis sporotrichosis is actually due to the rose thorn pricks as we can see it in the image it is going to lead to ulcerative lesions it is caused by sporotrix shenkai to the rose gardeners on koh mount you are going to see cigar shaped body and you are going to treat this patient with itraconazole very important to be remembered second chromoblastomycosis at least has been asked four to five times in the main exam remember the organism is going to be fonsacea pedrosoi it is going to have cauliflower like nodules very important to be remembered and in the microscopy you are going to see copper penny bodies medulla bodies or sclerotic bodies look at the image here this is the image of lichen planus yes you are going to remember five piece it starts with purple polyglonal planar papules and flakes you are going to see civet bodies remember lichen planus you are going to see true cobras phenomenon true cobras phenomenon and in nail lichen planus you are going to see pterygium very important to be remembered this image here is called a sturge weber syndrome it is present since birth and it is going to have port wine stain port wine stain great and this image here is called as capillary hemangioma it is a benign periorbital tumor in the childhood it is going to regress itself you are going to only treat it if it is having a disturbance in the periorbital region or if it grows into a massive size the third image is of systemic lupus erythematous i think we are all know it that this is going to have what butterfly rash remember lupus not only affect the skin it can affect the brain it can affect the heart and also the lungs look at the scalded skins over here these are seen in staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome also known as writer's disease there is going to be peeling of skin over the large parts of the body also known as yes 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 great and the second image here is going to be ten toxic epidermal necrolysis it is due to the medications it is a rare condition but it could be life threatening and the third image here is fixed drug eruptions it is delayed type 4 hypersensitivity it actually reoccurs at the same site or location upon taking a particular drug now let's try to identify the images here the first one is having honey crust and that is going to be what impetigo great and the second image i'm pretty sure every one of you probably could have identified this is going to be molluscum contagiosum it is a pox virus and we are going to see central umbilications great and the third image is going to be melanoma it is malignant and the cancer is going to be starting from the melanocytes and look at the image here the patient here probably plucked is or her own hairs we can see some air breakages this is called as what trichotillomania here we can see some patchy air loss this is called as what alopecia areata and here we see coral red and that is going to be what erythrasma and last here this is going to be scabies it is a mite and this mite is going to burrow into your skin you guys all are doing an amazing job and you're going to definitely pass if you want to have a similar image based revision like this for any other subjects kindly comment i will try to work on that and post as soon as possible wish you guys all the best keep the pace and you're going to rock in the upcoming exam cheers all the best ciao